Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some more Peg Idol. Uh, it has been, since I at least played the game, uh, 13 days, 23 hours, and 17 minutes effectively, giving us 144.382 octillion and 4 million... 103,664 prestige points. I got an achievement to get uh, an octillion amount of gold here, uh, which uh, I'm just curious if there's any, uh, let me see here. Is there any achievements before we prestige? Obviously we're gonna go on the final level today. Reach max auto drop on 22 balls. Wait, could I do that? Wait, okay, auto drop, max, max, max. Because before we prestige, it's like maybe we should try to do that, right? Because we were talking about that recently, max. Matt, oh wait. Oh wait, 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 wait. I want it to be, yeah, there we go. Max that auto drop, max that. No, dude, it literally, I'm not even close. That must cost so much money to max auto drop on there. That's insane. Um, otherwise, spawn a bunch of rings. Okay, whatever, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and prestige here. We're just gonna go ahead and prestige. Um, we're gonna go prestige. Every time we prestige, right, resets everything, but we get prestige trees here. Uh, also, there we go. Um, so we're gonna unlock level- No! What?! We didn't even get five million. Oh, I forgot it was five million. Wait, 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 wait. Five- Oh, no. Okay, well, we might have more episodes than I thought. I thought we were gonna easily be able to unlock level 10. Dang! Okay, okay. I see how it's gonna be. That's fine. Just gives us an uh, excuse to uh, to play more more in the future here. Where's prestige pegs? That's what I want to know. Where where is prestige pegs here? Here we go. Yeah, we want more prestige pegs to spawn, more prestige pegs to spawn, more prestige pegs to spawn. Now prestige pegs are gonna give more points. They're gonna give more points, they're gonna give more points. Um they're gonna spawn more, spawn more, spawn more. And maybe we go into something else here now. Um, increase gold gain by a ton, gold gain, gold gain. And for each second under 20 seconds, 12% gold from the unlocked ball with the most gold will be added. Sure. sure. These are very affordable here. Um, we, got f we got half a million left here. Each time you hit a golden peg, more gold from the unlock ball with the most gold will be added. Just trying to find any like of the cheap upgrades, more gold. Um, ball shot, give more gold. And I think, okay, we could say bomb pegs have more chance to spawn. And I think that's gonna be all we're gonna be able to afford here. Um, let's see here. Did we get any Peglin wins? We did not. Not today. <laughs> Crucible 18 was the better of us today. So now we're just chilling out with some Peg Idol. Okay. Well, I think that's all we're going to be able to do. Well, I'm honestly surprised that we're not able to go to level 10. But you know what? That's fine. It gives us, it gives us an excuse to play more here. So, okay. Close. I, I guess we'll stay on level 9. No reason to not be on level 9 here, you know? Um, okay. So we're just going to... Pretty much, let's see, yeah, get auto drop for these here. We pretty much just want to, and we can fire different orbs and stuff. We pretty much just want to, um, what's it called? Get on this next amount of, uh, the next page as soon as possible. But uh, that's that's okay, cause yeah, last time we played, I'm pretty sure we 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 got super far and we got the the ring balls. That was that was kind of we've never tried out the ring balls. So I hope with all of the upgrades that we got, we'll be able to get farther than the ring balls this time. That's that's our goal for sure. We got the egg, and so now we're just trying to save up 78 trillion. There we go, 78 trillion. So now we can just turn, um, actually, yeah, let me just go ahead and turn auto drop on everything off. And uh, that way we can just be working with the better orbs here. Cause we're so far, it's like we're, there's 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 so much more. We don't care about the, the small cheap things. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, purchase more balls here so we can actually fire longer. Just gonna keep kind of upgrading that. Get the auto drop. Can already get the cookie. Can already get auto drop on the cookie. It is crazy, right? Because before, I mean, this took us multiple episodes to get into, like, page two. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe I actually should, like, leave my, uh... Leave the game on in the background, or maybe we just wait, you know, a little bit of extra time to make sure we actually, you know, generate five million. You know, before we, uh... Because I bet if we had waited another day or two, I bet it would have hit the five million. That's my guess. I think it might have actually hit the five million uh, if we had uh, if we had waited. Uh, also, man, dude, yeah, I just upgraded upgraded these to be worth quite a lot more. But I don't know. It's it's good, right? Like we still got a ton of. I mean, we got almost what four point you know two million worth of. Uh, of prestige point or of upgrades, right? A lot of those were prestige points. So we should definitely be able to get 5 million very easily, you know? Very, very easily. Uh, let's get auto on the lime ball here. So yeah, the 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 uh, last orb that we maxed out was, or not maxed out, but we got last time for the first time, the ring ball was right here. And so considering we're, we're already making progress, we're only like six minutes in. The goal for this episode is to hopefully at least unlock whatever the ball is after that. Um, I think that would be that would be pretty swell. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh wait, oh oh, I'm so dumb. Auto drop wasn't on that whole time for these orbs here. What I love most about this quote is that you were telling this to one of your cats. Oh, fucking crack addict, you're a crack addict. Yeah, yeah, our our cats are definite crack addicts. We've been calling Ramsey Mr. Pister uh, a lot recently, because he is in fact a Mr. Pister. Um, they have they have been full of it. They have been full of it. I'm so excited uh, to uh, when we get the house because we're gonna do the thing where we install like all sorts of the like running parkour things everywhere, um, you know, on the walls and stuff, so they can chase each other like up the walls and stuff. We have a little like we have like some of the climbing things, you know, but we don't have any of like the platform shelf things, you know, and uh, yeah, what has he been staying out? What has he been staying out of his litter box or something? Oh, not, not, well, are you talking about because of piss? I, I, Mr. Pister, I, I, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, though sometimes Ramsey does have a trouble getting, like sometimes they'll be like a little pellet of shit. Uh, outside of the the litter box, because um, I guess he sometimes can't get it out, and he, I don't know. It's only him. But like, even when they have to throw up or when they do anything like that, they always do it in front of their litter box. Like they don't go do it like on furniture or anything. So it's nice that they kind of always keep it in a contained area, at least you know, which is nice. Okay. There we go. So we got auto drop on four of them now here. I bet in 20, 30 minutes we'll already have the ring ball back. I bet. Need more yeah, balls, more balls, more balls. That way we can just kind of keep holding them down, especially because we turn auto drop off, you know, for the other ones here. They know where gross stuff goes. <laughs> I know, it really does feel like it. I thought he was just not staying in the litter box and doing his business, so that's better than I thought. Yeah, no, no, we just, I don't know, Mr. Pister is just a name. Like, you'd be like, he's being full of it, you know. <clears throat> Need to know how much longer of the stream so I can hygiene and come back. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely take care of all of that for, uh, that's, that's more important than watching me play with some good old balls. Uh, I don't know. Probably probably another hour, 45 minutes. I don't know. However long until we get the next ball beyond ring ball. Because if we could get that and turn auto drop on that, that'd be really good too. Did you know the year 2086 is in the future? Uh, I think you're lying. I think you're lying. I think you come in here, come into the stream. I think you can just spread lies. Also, I forgot about leveling up the buckets. 
We just leveled up the buckets and the golden pegs to level 50. I think that was a, a, a worthwhile investment for sure. More balls, more upgrades. Uh, but yeah, we were, uh, I guess this is a good time to shell it maybe. Uh, since we're kind of just doing a just chatting thing. But obviously, Neon 8s. Uh, the short film, I, we probably talked about the short film a little bit in some earlier in this series. But the short film, uh, it ended up I think taking me about 16, 17 hours to edit. We took about five, six hours to film it, you know, five hours to come up with some of the ideas. So I got a 25, 30 hour project, passion project, our first uh, short film, perfect for Halloween too. Uh, so uh, definitely go check that out. We're finally going to get the soccer ball here now too. And we're going to get auto drop on that. So we're already only two away from what we had at the very end. Trust me, it's true. I know it's hard to believe, <laughs> but it's true. <sighs> yeah, someone someone will always find like on, on uh, especially on Twitter. Yeah, P people will definitely just uh, be arguing to argue. That's for sure. That's for sure. This is crazy that we, we didn't end up on level five. Man, how much we have spent 12.193 million prestige points. And we only have 12 more challenges to potentially beat. Though I don't know if we're gonna complete all the challenges this series. I definitely wanna beat all the levels, right? So we'll definitely have at least one more guaranteed episode. But it's nice. I know a lot of people said they like this series going to bed. Just a nice little just chatting uh, category. Or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or anywhere online. Yeah, people will always be dumb but I will, I, and argumentative. But I will say Twitter, tw Twitter is like a beast of its own. Like, it's insane. Like, I don't know. I feel like the, just the algorithm itself like promotes like just rage baiting even more than some of the other platforms too, you know? But it's definitely, all, all social media is definitely part of the problem for sure. For sure. All social media except the ones you can find me on. <laughs> Actually, you can find me on Twitter. So never mind. I take that back. Everywhere on the internet is a bad place to be except on my plot my my profiles. Totally. My profiles and my content. You shouldn't you shouldn't watch anything else. <laughs> you should uh, you should get four hours of sleep and um, spend the rest of your time, you know, catching up. Uh, you know, go watch that uh, Neon Ape short film for the uh, 30th time. Uh, I think, I think, I think that's the way to live. I think that's the way to live for sure. Also, I think I'm just gonna save up the soccer, I think I'm just save up money to get the coal. Uh, no, I'll get a couple more upgrades and more balls and stuff here. I've already maxed auto drop for some of those earlier ones. I'd argue that as of late, Instagram Reels has been Twitter level bad, but maybe that's just the side of the algorithm I'm on. Yeah, to be honest, I don't use Instagram Reels too much. Uh, I post on Instagram Reels, um, but uh, I use TikTok a lot. Uh, TikTok is my thing. And I think the, the TikTok algorithm is so good at knowing what will get you to stay watching. So I feel like I don't actually have like a ton of rage bait stuff on TikTok because instead it's like videos of cats. I do get a lot of like political stuff, but it's more uh, um, like stuff I kind of want to see, you know, versus like just full on rage bait, you know. Obviously, whenever there's all these fucking crazy ass disasters like the hurricanes recently and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of crazy to see like uh, real real footage of things going on, you know. Always crazy to see that stuff. Man, I will say to going back to the, the, this game here right now. Um, I've been enjoying this game so much and I've been enjoying this game in the way that we do content for it. Um, but I have seen, I think the reviews of this game being mixed or maybe like just mostly positive. Um, Cause I did see some people talk about, oh, finally got the coal there. Um, how grindy 
Um, it was near the end compared to some other uh, idle games. So I don't know if I'm remembering that correctly, but if... I, like, I could definitely see that. Because like, I feel like we were making pretty consistent progress in unlocking new orbs and stuff. Up until... Like, we kind of got to the second half of this second <gasps> page, you know? So yeah, we need 45, not sextillion, or sorry, 47.5 septillion, right? Obviously, we're in the sextillions right now, so we probably just upgrade the shrapnel ball for a bit. Um, you know, five, ten more minutes. I think we then go for the ring ball, and then I think it, sh it should be easy for us to hopefully uh, get the, the next ball after that. I definitely, definitely think so. Because I'm curious if it's going to be a unique one. Um, or if it's going to be one of the ones that just earns you more money, but it's not, like, super unique. I'm not 100% sure. But we do, we do intend to find out, that's for sure. That is for sure. Oh, Nightbot's being weird on YouTube. I feel like Nightbot's a little bit less responsive on uh, YouTube channels. That might be because, like, you know, Twitch streams always have the same URL versus, uh... Oh, no, oh, there you go. <sighs> Compared to YouTube where the links always change, you know? Um... Honestly, I think I'm just gonna get more shrapnel balls, more auto-drop there. We just want to upgrade this a bit. Upgrade the bucket and the golden pegs here a bit. But yeah, I am so proud of that short film. Uh, I even tried today posting it to like two different subreddits, like a short film sub or a film thing, f uh, filmmaking subreddit, asking for some specific uh, feedback on how I colored it and paced it. Uh, I think I uh, posted it to some other subreddit, but I don't think they're very popular. But I was like, well, might as well try, might as well try. Um, what is upgrading? Seven point. Skit. Balls. Just gonna upgrade. Okay, there we go. Spreading the love, upgrading things here. It's not that it's uh, less responsive on YouTube. There's just a chat delay because they show up in chunks rather than individual messages. Yeah, I could definitely. I can definitely see that too. Oh man. I definitely see that. Okay, so we're at 1.5 septillion. I think I'm gonna like spend five or 10 more septillion upgrading some of these higher end uh, orbs for us. And then I think I'm gonna save up for the 47 septillion uh, for the other uh, ring ball. Oh, dude, some of the some of the uh, the maps literally just uh, get cleared so fast, and that's not even having the the thing do the charge shot, you know. Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna get one more shrapnel ball. We're gonna upgrade it here as well. And yeah, screw it. Let we're gonna we're gonna just save up for the ring ball right now here. Should only take us, it's taking here. Once we get to two septillion, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count and see how long it takes us. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi, 15 Mississippi, okay. That felt like kind of a long amount of time. 15 seconds for a septillion. That means, that means we get, we get four septillion per minute, which means it's gonna take about 10 minutes, uh, like eight or nine since we've already made a little bit of progress. Eight or nine minutes of just saving for the ring ball. But you know what, I think we gotta do it. I think we just gotta buckle down. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Plus, I might have been counting a little bit slow. I've been told I count my Mississippis way too slow, so I tried to actually... I tried to make sure that those were appropriate Mississippis. 
Um, and, uh, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I need to, I think I need more Mississippi counting practice. Um, I'm really tempted. I'm really, really tempted to spend 10 septillion. It's like, what does that get me? One extra ball? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm actually getting that much from it. Yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit uh, earlier uh, when we were playing Peglin, but I've been getting back into uh, to Pokemon Go, uh, and I've also been using the Pokemon Sleep app, and I kind of splurged a little bit getting the Pokemon controller, uh, Pokeball controller. But I've been having a lot of fun with it. It is crazy. Like every time I play Pokemon Go, there's so much new new stuff. Um, I think there was Megas before, but now there's like even more things like Dynamaxing and even crazy stuff. I kind of just it's cool to just kind of collect the stuff and, um, you know, fun little casual game for sure. You enunciate the syllables too much on the Mississippis. <laughs> so instead of going one Mississippi, two Miss, I should be like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No, I gotta, I gotta do. How do I? How do I do one less syllable? If I, what if I took out a syllable? I could counteract the extra enunciations, right? So maybe we say, maybe we say. Mississippi, 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 one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That's what I'm gonna start doing. So I'm gonna start doing. Who's out here critiquing your Mississippis? I don't think anyone seriously, but I have gotten multiple a comment by several different people <laughs> because I do it a lot in Crab Champions too, you know. I do it in Crab Champions a lot, so I get comments on some of the Crab Champions videos, like when I'm timing how how fast it takes me to beat the final boss or whatever. But yeah, from here on out, let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna do it once we hit 20, I'm gonna see how fast and how long it takes until we hit uh, 21 uh, septillion here. So let's see. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi. Eleven. Also, I just got an achievement that apparently is not a challenge. And it was to get a bunch of purple pegs. But it was an achievement, not a challenge. Which achievements don't matter for shit, so. I don't care about them. I think you just need to use the stopwatch feature on your phone and just time your Mississippis. <laughs> oh man, we're about halfway. Halfway to the ring balls. And I think just saving up for it like this will, will be worth it in the long term. I think, I think it will be. Ooh, or I could spend it all. No. I must show restraint. If we, if we want any chance of seeing what's past ring ball today, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna need to, uh, yeah. Also, you're still taking too long to say Mississippi because you stretch out the last I. Okay, okay, I'll try again. I'll try again here. When we hit 26 septillion, we're gonna try it again. Okay, oh shit, okay, I, I, I ran out of, okay, when we hit 27 septillion, it's gonna happen. Just you wait. Just you wait. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, one Mississippi, one, two, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. I don't know how to not do the E. One Mississippi. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay, I have a new strat. I have a new strat here. I have a new strat. I have a new strat. And we're gonna wait until we get to 28. Okay, okay, oh shit, dude. It just goes so fast sometimes. Okay, we're gonna wait until we get to 29. We're gonna see how long it takes us to get to 30. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. I don't even. I wasn't, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. I was so distracted at, at what I was doing. I didn't even get to see the time. But we're gonna just pretend that it was just perfect. I'm just the most perfect person on the planet. So, uh, you know. 
I, I couldn't, I, whatever, however I say Mississippi, it's going to be the perfect way to do it. There's no way around that. You know, sometimes it's exhausting being as perfect as I am. You know, being the most professional streamer that I am. Uh, but someone's got to do it, you know? Someone's got to do it. I started laughing so hard I didn't even hear it. Well, you didn't need to hear it. You know it's, uh, you know it was perfect, so. You know it was perfect. There's, there's, you don't actually need to hear it. Ugh. We are now 12 septillion away from uh, putting our balls in some rings, I guess. The smallest form of a gup from Risk of Rain 2 is also known as a GIP, G-I-B, and it's banned, and it has to be checked by mods. Maybe the auto mods strict, I didn't see anything. But also, I don't actually see the full Twitch chat. Okay, we're nearing it though. We're at 40 septillion right now. Yeah, I, I don't, that's a, is that a slur? I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Learning slurs with time to grind. Top 10 slurs, number 10. <laughs> That'll be that'll be our hundred thousand subscriber special. Top ten slurs of the year, number ten. Not the top ten joke. Okay, we're about to get the ring balls. I'm telling you. To full disclaimer: if you watch my content, you will hear that joke until the day I die. Until the day I die. Just like Gold Digger from uh, Kanye West has been stuck in my head since I was literally in elementary school. Maybe middle school, probably elementary school. I swear on everybody in Mississippi. Sorry, Mississippi. Uh, I have had... She take my money when I'm in need. Oh, she's a gold digger. And I, I, I don't even know the exact lyrics, but that has been that has been stuck in my head for the rest, for my whole life. Okay, ring ball. It is ours. We've acquired the ring ball now. So now it's gonna see. Now, now look, look, look. See, now we're already gonna get that septillion amount so fast. We're already at fifteen septillion. We need 19 sub. There we go. Okay. We got auto drop on it. Um, and now we need 7.6 octillion for the next uh, ball. So that's what we're going to be trying to. Uh, that's our goal for today's video. Was it the film Shark Tales that got the song stuck in your head? I hope I was thinking of the wrong song with the same title. I was going to say, I've seen Shark Tales and I played the video games and I probably watched the movies as a kid. I don't remember that song being in that. <clears throat> she take my money. It was the right song. Makes sense that that would be in 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 it. Okay, purchase ball. Go get some more coal balls here. Start spreading the love to some of these other ones here. So we can throw even more coal. And then we can only, we only get to throw wait a minute. We only get to throw two two ring balls here. TTG being consistently unable to count is always hilarious. Hey, I've been training. I've been training. I've been training my misapies. Okay, we're gonna practice. We're gonna practice here. 
I don't even know what I'm going to. Okay, one. No, I was about to say we're counting to one another septillion, but that doesn't work anymore because we're starting to earn way more money than that. We're gonna get one more ball on the ring balls here. Spending the money on more ring balls is really worth it. So I can't wait until we get the quad turret, right? Just like level 10 costs 5 million prestige points. Um, getting the uh, the penta turret or the five the five shooting five barrel turret um, is also 5 million, so. It was in the introduction scene of Lola, that gold digging lionfish. Makes sense. I haven't seen that show or that movie in a very long time. The humble Misipai is too powerful for our man. <laughs> okay. So we definitely could save up. But I don't think it makes sense to save up right now. I think we try to... Yeah, buy a couple more upgrades on the ring balls here. Yeah, SLX was one of our uh, one of our uh, earlier mods. I think technically, I think Hatchet Daddy was the first mod. I want to say a lot of uh, our mods from back in the day came from the rounds modding community. So once we stop playing rounds, there's a lot of faces I haven't seen in a very long time. So I think at, at one point in time, a couple months ago, we actually had to purge, um, you know, temporarily I guess purge some some mods that we had. Uh, cause like we literally hadn't seen them in months, which I know it's not, like sometimes that, you know, I don't ever expect anyone to be here. But a lot of times even people like Hatchet Daddy will show up in the Discord or, uh, you know, a little bit. But there are some people I just literally hadn't talked to in like a year, you know. And I'm so, I am so, uh, I am so scared uh, like, of, of people's accounts getting compromised, you know, and then, like, our Discord getting fucking nuked or something like that, you know? I was one of the last mods. Yeah, I think we had, probably after you, I'm trying to think who, who after you. There was Zai, Cloud, uh, which we're still maybe looking for one or two more mods. If you're someone that's in the streams, like, a lot, and you're an adult, um, and you even want to be a mod. Uh, I think in our general chat, there's still an application. Um, we're not like desperately looking for any more mods, but you know, as some mods become more uh, inactive or whatever, it's always nice to have one or two more than you actually think you need. Yeah, Oblivion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we had a good amount of mods for a while, yeah. Okay, um... I guess just more ring balls. Upgrade them, more auto drop here. Yeah, I think back in the day when I was like a lot smaller of a channel, I think we we had a couple. Um, I don't even remember honestly, because they 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 haven't been active in so long. Some of them are the ones that we got purged, but yeah. We didn't always have that requirement for being an adult, but, um, no, it's definitely, uh, definitely nice. There's always case scenarios, you know, where it makes sense. Like, when we first started the channel, right, there were some really helpful people from the rounds modding, you know, community. Be a mod, not technically an adult yet. Yeah, so. Definitely, uh. Definitely. I think something that just doesn't always mean, like, if someone's an adult, that doesn't always mean that they're, like, more responsible and less prone to tomfoolery. Uh, but it definitely is, a is an overall decent, uh, indicator. Given adulthood doesn't equal maturity, maturity can come to people early. It's easy to equate the two. 
the application's sake. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, man. You know what? No. Okay. I think. Yeah. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna save up now. We're gonna save up for this new orb here. I think it's time. Also, uh, weekly reminder that this is, uh, this is not a kid's channel. Uh, we do all of the black tar heroin up our dick hole here. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's it. <laughs> yeah, because it's only taking us... Maybe about... Okay, okay. It's time. Are you guys ready for the counts? Are you the counts here? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, by some standards, I engage in quite a bit of tomfoolery. <laughs> I've got a career and a 401k, but I also love to put on my jammies and watch Saturday morning cartoons. So that's what's great about being an adult, though, is like... Is, is you can get the responsibility, like, you know, it's so cool to be able to do things that, like, make you happy or make you feel like a kid or, um, you know, spoil the inner child that, you know, um, you know, or, or relive your childhood, you know, uh, you know, because you can, like, responsibly do it, you know. Now I have some, some friends, I think, I think most of my friends are getting a lot better, but a lot of people I know. A lot of really close friends that just were really struggling with uh, figuring out how to be an adult on your own, right? If nobody's telling you to clean, you know, are you going to clean, you know? Or are you going to let, you know, uh, your space just kind of deteriorate and then have that deteriorate your mental health? And, you know, being able to take care of your car or at least know who to bring it to to ask or which friend to ask and... Uh, you know, a lot of friends that have to take medicine or pills and they just constantly forget to take pills and medicines and I'm not trying to be too ableist because I know like sometimes some some uh, things can make it a lot harder, but it's like anytime like I've struggled to take medicine, it's like, okay, let me like buy a, a pill, a pill calendar thing to help out. You know, it's like if I know that I'm not doing something good enough for my health. Well, well I guess that's not fully true because I could be taking care of my health way better than I am now. Um, but like, you know, things that are easily fixable by buying a, a calendar pill tool or things like that, you know, um, or setting, setting notifications on my calendars for when I have doctor's appointments or dentist appointments. Uh, that, that's one thing. Take care of y'all's teeth. By the way, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the time to grind advice for today. Uh, because if you do not take care of your teeth, it is gonna be one of the most painful things in the planet uh, in the future, uh, and also one of the most expensive things in the future. So uh, take take care of your teeth, everybody. That's that's the time to grind. Time to grind advice for today. I am not letting you live down all the black tar heroin up our dick hole. <laughs> I said what I said, and I meant what I meant. A black tar heroin user is faithful 100%. That's what my granddaddy always told me. That's what he always told me. So it is going to take a little bit of time, right? We're just now at 2 octillion, and it does take 7.6 octillion. But at that point, we will have an orb that we've never bought before. Never used before. And then if we can just upgrade that, right, get more auto drop on it... <laughs> That combined with all of the other <laughs> meta progression that we got with the prestige points uh, is really going to help. You'd think 2k towards your dental is a lot until the moment you go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, and I know sometimes it might be expensive to do things like going to the dentist or whatever, but like even then, it's way better to take care of that shit early than let it deteriorate to the point where you need a fucking root canal or something like that, you know? I got a little cavity at the top of my front right tooth. I think it's the incisor. Definitely brush your teeth. Don't be a fool. Yeah, and if 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 uh, money is uh, tough, um, there's also a lot of uh, I haven't um, you know I've I've looked them up. I haven't 
uh, tried them, but I've heard a lot of people have decent success with if you're really trying to save money. You know, a lot of times there's dental schools, you know, where maybe you can get a fucking $1,000 procedure done for, you know, $50 or $100 or maybe even free, but it's, you know, uh, you know, because even that would be like having a student take care of your teeth versus just letting it alone would be so much better, you know? That advice came to me a tad too late. I'm getting a tooth crown tomorrow. Uh, fuck. Hey, I bet it'll, uh, I bet it'll, uh, you know. At least you're, like, you know, getting it taken care of now, you know. Keeping care of your teeth very important. Trying to get better at it is I PTSD from an event when I was younger. Some, uh, SLX says same. Yeah, and that's definitely fair. Definitely fair. Um, I... I don't have a, any PTSD from brushing my teeth or anything, but when I was a kid, I think I've told this story a couple times beforehand, um, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't heard it. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I, I really, uh, when I was in elementary school, I really wanted to uh, ride my bike to school. You know, it was like a 15, 20 minute bike ride. Really wanted to do it. My parents were like, no, like we can drive you. Like it's fine, you know, whatever. And they finally let me ride my bike to school and the first day that I rode my bike to school, uh, when I was riding back home, um, on the sidewalk, right? So you have the sidewalk, and then you have a little section of, there was like a gap, and then there was grass. My tire got stuck in that gap, it flipped, I literally went flying, my two front teeth, my two front teeth, I landed, hit the cement, teeth first. Um, so, out of these two front teeth, one of them died. One of them died and I had to get a root canal. And the other one uh, has a, not a crown, it has a, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but like, like this, this tooth is like 80% fake. So, um, moral of the story is if you're a parent, don't listen to your fucking kids. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Great pro tip, cutting down sugar uh, has made my dental health vastly improve. Since I cut down sweets even with no change in brushing. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Cavities can be reversed if you're diligent enough with brushing teeth, mouth washing, and flossing. Yeah, though if it's bad enough, I'm sure you might need to get to looked at. I don't know though. Also, if the cavity is still in the enamel and no further past that. Also, the whiplash from the last episode of this. I think you just unlocked ball nine. To this stream is insane. There's so much going on. Oh, from the last one you saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say last episode, we, we got to the ring ball. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> We, we have progressed quite far in the story. Your story about that gave me a new fear of losing my teeth. A veneer, a cap? I don't think so. Maybe it was a crown. I don't know. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Also, I've had to get uh, gum recession surgery. Um, don't... Uh, a tip here. My, my, my dentist actually tells me not to use an electronic toothbrush. Um, uh, because they can be too rough on your gums because I guess growing up, I'm just showing you all my, all my awful teeth here, right here. I don't even know you can see, right? This tooth here, the gum, maybe from me brushing my teeth too hard as a kid. I don't know, you know, cause I always had everyone tell me to fucking brush my teeth hard. So I'm over here with, with an automatic toothbrush. Like, <coughs> so the gum receded so high that I had to, uh, uh do a surgery where they attached extra gum above that tooth. Uh, and, um... Uh, they had the choice. You could either... They could either cut your gum from the roof of your mouth and attach it there. Or you could get cadaver gum over your tooth. And I didn't want them cutting up my thing. So I have a dead body. I have a, someone else's dead body in my mouth. Um... And over the years, it has phased into my own. So I have harvested the flesh from the dead to increase my quality of life. I must chewed my entire cheek 
and left a permanent hole. I did something similar as a kid. I kept biting and like fucking with this uh, canker sore I had and it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until I had to go to the hospital because I wouldn't leave it alone. Holy shit, TTG's dentist is the one dentist out of 10. Oh, that, that, well, in the commercials where they're like, nine out of 10 recommend blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just make sure you're not being too rough on your gums, but also like you also still want to, I don't know. I don't know, man. So many conflicting things, I'm sure. Alternative dental tip, if you have a bad habit of eating sweets, swap your sweets with chewing gum. Gum chewing increases saliva production, which loosens up teeth bacteria, keep you from, uh, from stuff bad. So bad stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good, like, kind of like weight loss thing too. A lot of times, like, I try to make sure I have gum, because sometimes when, especially if I'm like smoking and I've eaten way too much food, it's like, yeah, sometimes I can just pop some gum and I need to be better about that, to be honest. Hus husband said, so dead man do tell tales. <laughs> yes. And you could be like some name, like named Barney. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the, 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 the dead, the dead person, right? It's probably an old person, right? Barney's an old person name, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I think, I think I'm gonna say that I have, a, uh, you know, I took some of Barney's meat and put it all up in my mouth. <clears throat> I hate electronic toothbrushes. Yeah, I used to use them because I thought it was like making everything easier, but I think it was definitely uh, hurting the... Because there's a couple areas in my mouth that I'm very, very scared about. Um, yeah, more gum recession, so I'm trying to be very, very careful about it. <clears throat> the purple dinosaur has an old name. <laughs> Story about the purple dinosaur. One of my uh, the one of my old companies that I used to work at. Um, we uh, we ran a show. We ran a podcast uh, for um, for the actor of Barney, the original actor of Barney. He had an actually decently popular podcast that we produced. Gum chewing is great. Uh, great alternative to vaping. True. 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 I'm still so happy. I know I've talked about this a lot. I have done, I have done some really hard drugs. Not not anything like heroin or meth. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Uh, but I have done some really hard drugs. But I have never once touched nicotine uh, in my life. Um, I have so many friends that are just fucking addicted to nicotine. It is insane. Insane. Recycling. <laughs> Also, we're almost, we're almost to this new orb here. Three quotes in one day, TTG say some wonky stuff. Um, injection site outward, apply alcohol, saturated. There you go. Nicotine is mid, gives me a headache. Well, that's, that's probably good. Good you don't like it. <laughs> Also, uh, other other shill here. I know a lot of the clips and stuff have happened uh, for the horror games, um, but just like if uh, you know, you think any of the quotes are good. If you ever think any of the quotes are super good, that it would make for a funny out of context clip, um, or make for a good uh, you know clip in our out of context videos that we put out every couple months. Um, we always every month do a giveaway. Um, we always do a giveaway. Uh, for the people that clip stuff on YouTube or Twitch and throw it in the Clip It channel. I still need to uh, catch up on that, but uh, every month we... It's only give only 20 bucks right now. First place, you know, 15. Second place, uh, 5. But as I keep growing the channel, dude, I swear, if I get famous, dude, those Clip Bounties, like, we're going to be giving away, like, hundreds or thousands of dollars every month. But uh, that's, that, that, that's for the future. But that does exist right now, so... Um, quick, uh, quick shill. And even if you do it with YouTube clips now, for those of y'all watching After the Fact on YouTube, um, uh, we had one of our awesome mods, Root, uh, figure to work around for us to actually be able to d download YouTube clips. Uh, which is really sick. You guys all have some bad stories about your oral health. I thought mine was bad, now it's just wimpy. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing. 
That's a good thing. Don't feel bad about having good good oral hygiene. And not not traumatizing your teeth. I'd love if you did some shirts that had some quotes from Nightbot. That's an interesting thought. That is an interesting thought. Huh. That is an interesting thought. Also, we finally did it! Apricot! That's all we get. Apricot balls. What is an apricot ball? I'll ju they're just smaller. They're just smaller. That's it. But they earn us a lot of money. And apparently it's a Pokeball. <laughs> apparently a Pokeball is next? That is interesting. Also, this earns us 47 sextillion versus 1 sextillion. So we, we got some fruit. We got the fruitiest... The fruitiest, tootiest... Uh... Build, I guess. Man, yeah, because there's no way we're going to get the Pokeball this time, I don't think. <clears throat> my daughter shoved a fork through her cheek. Oh, my Mima's daughter shoved a fork through her cheek. Oh my lord. She's okay, holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. That is insane, actually. So I think we're probably gonna just spend the next 10, 15 minutes realistically, pro yeah, because we're getting 700 uh, is gonna be a lot. So I think we're gonna just try to spend the next 10, 15 minutes upgrading the apricot ball as much as possible. Um, and uh, that way, you know, we'll hopefully earn a ton of money by, by the time we play next time, you know. Will you play Subnautica if I send you a mint condition Black Lotus? I would definitely, I mean, what? Like, cause we're talking mint condition black lotuses are, how much are they? I'm gonna all tab here. Actually, yeah, I'll just, just so you can keep listening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up. How much is a mint condition? How much is a mint condition black lotus? Uh, depending on what set. It could be anywhere from like 10,000 to 400,000. Maybe there's some cheaper ones for, um, so, but honestly, even then, if we were talking about the lower end of that, I don't think I would commit to beating it. I don't, I don't think I would, uh, I would commit to, uh, to beating it. Now maybe commit to beating it if we're talking about a hundred K one, you know. <laughs> I just, just get it, immediately sell it, make bank. I just had a bad time when I was seven back then. I severely overbrushed my permanent teeth, even though I, I had like four, uh, to the point where toothbrush bristles were severely curved. When I went to the dentist, every last one of my baby teeth had a small cavity, given they were small and easily fixed the same day. I had a huge fear going to the dentist ever since. Yeah, that is definitely fair. I, I have had to get so much work done sometimes. Like I had a lot of cavities as a kid too. But even then, for some reason, I've just like, I've had to get root canals before, right? Like, well, like I said, with the trauma to my front teeth. And uh, that's one of the few things. I, I genuinely don't hate the dentist. Um, somehow, I don't really know how. <clears throat> Tell us more about your fruity balls, TTG. Well, if they're left out in the sun a bit too long, they kind of get a salty, you know, kind of taste to them a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, normally the fruit flavor still kind of comes, comes, uh, comes past, you know. <clears throat> I will rather have surgery awake than be poked by a needle. I think if you had to undergo uh, getting a surgery like that, you might change your mind. But I don't know. I will rather have surgery awake. Oh no, I'm literally reading the same thing I just read. Some surgeries have you poked by needles. Yeah, a lot of surgeries, they do poke you with a needle before the surgery. That message came out a while ago, back when you first got the apricot, we're making some fruity jokes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Caden saying, I think that's a bad choice. 
Though I get it, I hated needles as a kid. But I had to, um, because my, my mom is type 1 diabetic. My mom is type 1 diabetic. Um... Let me max a lot of these out here. And, um... I was born in Colorado. This is why I want to return. I want to return to my home. Um... Before I was brought to this fucking hell state. Um... <laughs> but, uh... In Colorado, um, my mom's uh, diabetes doctor, uh, I guess, you know, when they knew she was pregnant, Asked my mom if uh, they could uh, have my placenta um, to use for research. And then I was put in this whole like research program. So uh, literally every year until I turned 21, uh, I gave blood that they then studied um, to, to, you know, study the links between parents that have uh, type 1 diabetes and, you know, their kids. And so like until I was like 13 or 14, it was just like a small prick. Um, and my mom would do it. I probably still hated it, but it wasn't that bad. But once I turned 14 or 15, they, I guess, had concluded that stage of the study. And so then they wanted us to actually start giving blood. So I had to actually start giving, like, large, not large amounts of blood, but, like, I had to go get a lot of blood drawn. Um, but then at least at that point in time, they started giving 20 bucks a year every time you did it. And for a kid, that's, I mean, that's a decent incentive there. Uh, and I think they also retroactively paid. So, like, once they started paying people, I got, like, a check for, like, $200 as a kid. And I was like, hell yeah, you know? Um... So that helped me overcome the fear a little bit of needles, because I really just had to do it a lot, you know? Um, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm not asking weird questions, future audience, I swear. No, everybody needs to know, Ethan's a weirdo. Ethan's a weirdo asking weirdo questions. He's wanting to know about my balls. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody, Ethan's a weirdo. <laughs> uh, Twenty whole bucks, you're sh you're rich. I know, right? As a kid, absolutely. Well, the hatred of needles do a lot of blood work. I had in middle school, and so I'm never getting another ear piercing, even though I want some. My uncle lives in Colorado. Because he has an actual bounty in his birth state of Texas. I don't know, are, are you supposed to be snitching where he went? Don't be snitching. <laughs> don't be a snitch. <laughs> Unless he did something terrible. You probably should snitch if he did something terrible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the rules of appropriate snitching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if we tried to save up for the Pokeball, it would it would not be it would not be good. So I think we just literally spend all of our money just lowering, making the auto drop on the apricot ball as good as we can. Probably seeing if we can like max out some of these auto other auto drops and stuff like that. Upgrading them a little bit here too. Oh dude, some of those big upgrades are meaningful. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like when you can pump a ton of money into them. They don't know where in Colorado. When I move to Colorado, I'm gonna hunt your uncle down. <laughs> they ain't getting any more from me. Good, good. Don't be snitching. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do I want to try to do? I think I want to try to get auto drop. Yeah, let's let's just let's uh. We'll probably spend five, maybe ten more minutes just getting as many more um, upgrades and auto drop upgrades. Ball upgrades don't matter anymore since we're going to be, you know, not an active participant anymore. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, even though I'm buying a house, the plan is still, hopefully, to, uh, you know, 
if uh, Caitlin and I's finances and stuff change in the next two, three years, you know, if we keep growing the channel and stuff, definitely think we're going to try to, you know, get our way to Colorado. Maybe have our house appreciate in value a bit. And let's see, upgrade that five times, upgrade that two times. Um, I'll do, f yeah, five. So we made ring ball trigger 0.4 seconds faster. Would be nice to have more balls for the apricot ball and stuff, but. Did you hear about the massive data leak from Game Freak, like a terabyte of Pokemon stuff getting leaked? We did, we did. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but you know what? Since you guys are here, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil it. Um, on the Neon Apes YouTube channel, uh, right where our short film finally came out, definitely go check that out. Go subscribe to it. Um, we're gonna have our bonus episode. That's only one camera angle. It's not very visually impressive, but it still was a lot of fun. That is gonna come out next week. And then, after that, there might be like a week or two in between. I really, I know that like we would get more views if we capitalized on it sooner. But the first episode, the first episode of season five of the Neon Apes podcast uh, is us talking about Pokemon and also talking a lot about that specific uh, data leak uh, from Game Freak. So you guys are actually the first people to know maybe what the first episode of the Neon Apes podcast uh, season five is going to be about. So uh, I don't, I don't know what you should do with that information. Actually, you probably, you should probably go subscribe to the Neon Apes. Uh, that, that's probably what you should do. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Very excited. Excited to see it. I am excited for y'all to see it. Um, but I'm also just so happy to have gotten that uh, short film out. It was so much fun, like there were so many rounds of revisions behind the scenes, you know, uh, showing it to all of our friends that were in it, and then each of them had really good pieces of feedback to give back and stuff like that. But yeah, while you're waiting for all the new episodes to come out too, if you're just wanting something to listen, right, we're, we're on all the podcast platforms, you know, we're on YouTube. Uh, you don't have to watch them in any order, you know, just, 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 uh, um, you know. Whatever topic interests you. Who are you podcasting with? Um, so uh, the uh, the current uh, seasons um, uh, are me, uh, Daniel, and Red. Um, uh, earlier, um, for uh, you know the first 50, 60 episodes, uh, seven. You know we had um, we had our uh, our boy Matthew as well. Um, and uh, you know once we kind of get the studio, especially now set up more in our house and stuff. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, be trying to get some guests on too, but, uh, yes, yes, yeah. Matthew got terminated. <laughs> I like the short film. I'm glad. I'm glad. I know you were really excited about, about seeing it. So I hope, I hope I didn't hype it up too much, but I, I am genuinely extremely proud about it. Uh, it probably is my magnum opus right now, to be honest. I don't think I've put more effort into a single video for myself in my life. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, Matthew just, did, uh, you know, uh, just the podcast just wasn't something that he wanted to, um, you know, feel like he had to commit to, you know, I think uh, he, he was going through some rough stuff as well. You know, we talk about it in, uh, some of the episodes, you know, um, you know, kind of more details of what happened, but he was just going through some stuff. And, uh, I think the, the, he, he didn't want to have to like commit uh, to, to do it, you know, and that's totally fine, you know, so, uh, the Neon Apes is always kind of like, whoever out of our, like, you know, big, big, you know, or, uh, you know, our, our, our friend group, you know, you know, there, there's a couple people that if they lived in Texas or lived near us, like, they would probably be, be in it, you know, is he doing all right? He is, he is, he is, he is. Uh, he's still going through some stuff, you know, like, like we were talking about, uh, earlier in the stream, you know, I think, um, you know, a lot of my friends, 
Uh, some of them are, you know, in kind of different stages or scales of, you know, figuring out the adulting shit. You know, it's really hard, you know, uh, to be honest, you know. Um, I've also, a lot of my friends have some fucking traumatic stories with their parents. We, my parents overall were the, the, the best, I think, out of a lot of people's. Um, I think I definitely maybe had a couple issues with my dad growing up. Um, just with some anger stuff, but like, he's so helpful. Like he's been, he always just helps us out so much. Like we're just teaching us and learning us and like helping us through this home buying process. Like if I didn't have him, like I don't even, you know, so, um, but some of my friends, dude, like I'm talking like trauma, 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 trauma. I'm talking about so many different types of trauma. I'm talking about, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go into that uh, anymore, but uh, yeah, so Always always interesting to you know, I think it's hard it, It's different levels of hard for different people depending on what their childhood looked like to actually Be able to fully I would say navigate to being a successful adult just in terms of being able to hold a job and you know um, You know not not like taking care of chores and 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 laundry and being motivated to do it yourself right because when you move out and you don't have someone telling you to do your laundry telling you to apply for jobs telling you to like you know and you have to because you live under the house you know it's, it's a lot harder uh it's a lot harder i think for some people you know so uh yeah the short film wasn't 4K, so my spoiled ass got eye damage. Joking, of course. <laughs> yeah, I probably the the one thing I, I think I should have done is I, I think I should have tried to uh, the frame rate might have changed once or twice depending on what we actually used to because we recorded so many different types of footage in different ways. So I think maybe I could have actually stabilized that. Um, not not related to what you're saying, obviously. I, I, um, but yeah. 4K next short film. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> no, actually, I, that, that is, uh... Actually, I could just export a 4K footage. I could just trick the editing software into thinking it's 4K. That way it tells YouTube it's 4K. <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> Life can be fucked. Supportive parents are so useful uh, to becoming a successful adult. Yeah, yeah. Even then, they might... Not be enough. The internet now plays a massive role in how kids grow up and mature. Yeah, though, to be fair, right? That's, I would still say the parents... I'd still say that's definitely a big part of the parents' responsibility of not just giving your kid fucking unfiltered access to go watch Elsa get impregnated by Spider-Man on YouTube, you know? I mean, the shit that I was watching as a kid on YouTube was insane. I was watching Brandon Rogers. I was watching Shane Dawson. I was watching Smosh. Uh, I was watching uh, a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't have. I'm sure my parents, you know, tried to police it. We'd go to other kids' houses, and so you're never going to be able to fully do it. But I think, like, part of that also is is being able to actually feel like you can have a conversation with your parents. You know, that way you don't feel like you have to hide everything from them, you know? But, uh, yeah, overall, you're right. It's it's The internet is absolutely a huge part of it. Which is why I hope that, you know, some of these uh, recent pushes, uh, even law-wise, you know, in America to uh, actually hold uh, social media uh, platforms accountable for, you know, the harm that they uh, do to, um, you know, minors' uh, mental health, especially, uh, you know, female, you know, like, like little girls going on social media and seeing all these unrealistic beauty standards and, uh, you know, shit like that is, is fucking so damaging. Um... And, uh, you know, so I know, like, sometimes now there's, like, disclaimers that have to get put on certain social media things, but we're nowhere even close to where we need to be, you know, on that level. Um, and all that, you know, is just to help, but, you know, ultimately, yeah, it comes down to, you know, are, are the parents, you know, involved in what the fuck is happening in their kid's life? Or are they just throwing an iPad in front of their baby, and if the baby sees fucking Spider-Man get impregnated by Elsa, then, I mean, so be it, you know? And, uh, that's obviously not good. Uh, okay, almost maxed that auto drop. Just trying to continue doing some last minute upgrades here because overall I think we're at a good position here. Related but unrelated, my godmother called me last night um, and told me how proud she was of me and the person I'd become and I just cried like a baby after we hung up. Aww. 
That's awesome. You should be proud. Anyone, anyone that's just managing to exist right now, especially once you become an adult, like, props on you. Anyone that's watching this live after the fact, even if you, you know, like you're, you're a kid going through school, I remember that shit. That shit's so fucking hard, dude. I, my mom always told me over and over and over, anytime I was complaining about school, she would always say, it gets better once you get out of school, I promise. I know it sucks, I had to do it. My mom uh, fucking worked her ass off, right, to, uh, to go to pharmacy school and, um, you know, just real hard work and, you know, uh, woman and she was always like I know I know what it was like I promise you it'll get so much better and uh, I I definitely Agree with that like life gets so much better once you're done with school uh, Infinitely better like there's it's it's adulting is hard. There's there's a hard things about adulting But in my opinion as, as long as you can figure that shit out um, It's infinitely better. I love being able to go, you know try to plan vacations and have have the kitties and have a family with Caitlin and I and you know, I love it. I love it. I love it. So if y'all are just existing and, and, and persevering through the bullshit that is this world right now, uh, you, you, you deserve a pat on the back. Absolutely. What the fuck is this Spider-Man impregnated by Elsa shit? How have I not heard of this? Uh, just, just back, it was called Elsa Gate. It was Elsa Gate back when, um, I don't know. Just look up Elsa Gate. I'm sure there's a million video essays. It's pretty much just like, yeah, there would be like a ton of kid content for kids, and it's all these extremely disturbing fucking animations. Like, you know, Elsa impregnation videos, Elsa impregnating Spider Man, Spider Man impregnating Shrek, Shrek killing Elsa's kids. Like, really disturbing shit like that that was being produced for kids, but was not, I mean, it was just horrendous for kids. Um, so, uh, yeah, but if you, if you, if you type in, like, Elsa Gate, you know, on YouTube, I'm sure there's some better video essays and stuff, you know. True, my parents not having an internet filter back when I was little is part of why I grew up into a very secretive and cynical IRL. It's hard to say if it's their fault, because few parents knew how depressing and downright useless some things a high schooler could see. Sometimes I think about what they could have done better. Yeah. Yeah. Which, it's like, you know, ultimately, it's like, if you have kids... Then just try to, uh, you know, don't make the same mistakes your parents made. But otherwise, it's, it's all about just, you know, just, just, <laughs> just making it through each day, you know? <clears throat> I'm not looking into that up again. It looks cursed. Yeah, and that was the type of shit being shown to kids. <laughs> Glad I was old enough, smart enough to not live through the Elsa Gate shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think, as of right now, y'all... I think this is probably a great stopping point here. Um, we have made so much progress. Well, actually, wait here before we do. Let's let's get a cool, let's get a cool video of just all the fruit. So golden ball? No, we don't care about golden ball. Lime, yes. We we like lime. And uh, candy? No. Aqua? No. Plum? Plum ball? We're gonna turn plum ball on here just just for a. Uh, for a second here, because I think I think the theme the theme of today the theme of today is is uh, is definitely is uh, is definitely fruit. We got the plum ball. We got the no, we're not doing candy ball. We're not doing candy ball. We got the lime ball, and now the apricot ball. And uh, so let me I'm gonna I'm gonna take my camera off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I did this last time, and I, it actually, it, it actually straight up, I swear, saved me about, like, ten minutes of making the thumbnail. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just mess around here. You can still hear my sexy voice. Don't worry, don't get too scared. I'm still here. And, uh, cause this is, yeah, this is straight up, this is amazing when I do this here. With the new plum ball, and then hopefully next time, right, we can try out the freaking pokeball. That would be that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Got to remember, folks, it's also their first rodeo. Most parents are doing their best as long as they stay accountable. Y yes and no. Yes and no. I don't know if I would say all parents. Well, I guess you said as long as they stay accountable, and I guess you did say most. It is, it is their first time. Absolutely. But there's there's some things that I think are unexcusable, but I, you, you said the words most and stuff, so. 
Uh, I'm gonna do black magic to forget I ever saw. <laughs> yeah, we've never been a face cam channel. I've always been a faceless channel. I don't know what you guys are talking about. No, TDG, I need your sexy face. <laughs> okay, we've eat, we've eat, we've we've probably we've probably done enough fruit. And now I'll be your fruit. I'm back. Oh nope, not that button. I'm back. Nope, not that button. I'm back. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna turn off that, and then we're gonna go turn back all of the auto drop for all of page two, because I, I I don't think it's worth it for. Um. Yeah, obviously I don't think it's uh. Very helpful for us to have auto drop of those first ones. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, there we go. We'll go ahead and save here. Uh, and I think we've, uh, it's fun. It's always fun doing this. I know we didn't make it to level 10 like we thought we did, but it just gives us an excuse to make even more episodes uh, and uh, stuff like that. And hopefully get the Pokeball uh, ball next time. Uh, so if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Peg Idol videos come out. Uh, it's always so much fun to chat and have story time and all this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're gonna be grinding out uh, some Peg Idol on your own, then I wish you guys luck and I'll see you all next time.